At first glance, it might look like these kids are goofing off during class, playing video games. Well, they're used to playing the games, but when we first talked to them about would you actually be able to write the code to be able to make the video game so that you could be the guy selling the next Black Ops, the hands went up instantly. That's right. Here in Mr. Smith's computer lab at CO Greenfield, students aren't just playing computer games. They're learning how to write computer code to program their own games. This is one of the only middle schools in Arizona offering a class of this kind. Since you've already learned JavaScript, how cool would it be to be able to say, now I know two programming languages, JavaScript and Java. And programming is difficult for everyone, but it doesn't take a genius to program. Um, if you can read and write, then you can program. The kids have to learn how to think logically, and so even if they're not going to be a programmer when they grow up, it teaches them to solve problems. That's yeah. awesome. That's right. But for those students who are now interested in a career in computer programming, like sixth grader Alicia, the skills they are learning in this class are very exciting. Yeah, it, it did open my eyes to other careers. I didn't know it was like this one. Bill Gates might have only been 13 when he started programming computers, but some of the students here at Greenfield Elementary are only 11 and they're already learning this important skill that will help them get careers in the future. The more you can learn at a younger age, the better. It's kind of like uh, yeah. speaking foreign languages. Kids are able to adapt better with foreign languages and actually get the nuances of the language and I think it's the same thing with programming languages. Tiffany is a computer programmer designing an iPad app that brings up detailed maps to aid city planners. All of this is created by her skills in writing computer code. I've got 12 pages right here of code, but it's really neat to see what it looks like as a web page. And it's fun to do, and then when you see the people that are going to be using it get excited, that's really neat too. And you know that you're doing something that helps them. Because sometimes with technology it's confusing, but when you're doing something that helps them, it's, it feels really good. There's a big need for people with computer programming skills, and it certainly helps that the kids at CO Greenfield have so much drive. And there's no way you're going to know it all, so you want to be able to learn it and be interested in learning it and have a lot of curiosity. Hmm. Make sure none of the other wires are touching the table. Carlos is just 13, and he has already created his own device to play the games he's programmed. I got really an act for because once I was shown this, I got really into it, and I started learning more and more, and then the more I learned, the better things I made. Using simple household items like a piece of cardboard and aluminum foil, as well as a little glass of water, students can actually use these devices to connect to their computers right at their desktop. Okay, who's winning now? You. Who? You. I thought so. Okay. Their enthusiasm for creating their own games has helped these students in other subjects as well. Not only just their test scores, but their all-around excitement for going to class and being involved in everything they do because they see how all the other subjects make a difference in making them better in here writing code. And as the students leave for their next class, they take a new and important skill with them. For No 99, this is Sammy Davis.